Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we are going to be talking about glycerin and why you see it in so many of your skincare products. So we're gonna be covering what it is, why it's important, and the benefits it can have to your skin. So overall, you probably know what glycerin is just because it's literally in so many products, especially, you know, hydrating products such as moisturizers and even sometimes like cleansers. So since it's in so many of the products that you probably use on on a daily basis in your routine, it's very important that we talk about it. So we're gonna be discussing what it is, what it can do for your skin, and how it's even safe for acne prone skin. So first off, what is glycerin? Glycerin is a water soluble sugar alcohol that is known to act as a humectant. So first of all, what is a humectant? So a humectant is basically something that can draw hydration, AKA water, from a place that has more hydration, more water, to a place that has less. So concentration will always move from what is greater to less. So that's kind of what a humectant helps to do. So let's say if you live in a very humid, so very hydrated environment, a humectant will draw that water from the environment into your skin. So it can really help with dehydrated skin. Overall, glycerin is clear. It has no odor and it's like a thick kind of syrupy like consistency. So if glycerin is in your products, it will probably give it more of that viscous texture. And it's derived from vegetables such as soybeans, coconut, and palm. Now I do want to put a bit of a disclaimer here when it comes to humectants. Now humectants are great especially for hydration which we're gonna be talking about in a second but if you do live in a more dry environment let's say where where it comes to the point that your skin actually holds more of that moisture than the environment itself humectants can cause your skin to dry out more as it will pull the moisture from your skin and out it doesn't happen all the time but just in case depending on where you live so now let's talk about why glycerin is often seen in skincare and why it is so important to have so it is often used in skincare to actually avoid crystallization of your products. I don't know if you've ever had this happen to a product, but it's not nice. So glycerin can help with that and just kind of make your products last a bit longer that way. It's also going to keep your products from drying out. It also works amazing alongside other ingredients. It doesn't really contradict any ingredients or cause any issues like interferences with other ingredients. So it's a very safe ingredient to use within your skincare routine. And that's why it's really in a lot of products. And we're going to talk about all the benefits that it can actually have to the skin. So like I've already mentioned, being a humectant, it helps with the hydration in the skin. So if you have dehydrated skin, this can be a great ingredient to look for in your moisturizers, your serums, even your cleansers, but you probably would want it in a more, you know, leave on treatment rather than a wash off. I also want to talk real quick about dehydration versus dry skin because they are very different. You could have oily skin, but dehydrated skin. You could have dry skin, but also dehydrated skin. So dehydration has to do with the water in your skin, um, which is hydration. And that's what a humectant is actually going to help with. It's going to help draw that water into the skin and help retain it. But moisturization, think of like an emollient. Think of something that creates a seal over your face. So a moisturizer can provide hydration with ingredients in it, such as hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and various ingredients like that. But overall, you also have emollient ingredients in there that will create that shield to lock in that water after you've applied it to the skin. So quick difference there, just because a lot of the times hydration and moisturization are interchanged and can be confused. So I wanted to make sure everyone knew what the difference was. Now, continuing with some of those benefits, it can also help protect and maintain your skin's barrier. And this can help with acne because when you have acne, your skin is going through a lot, it's trying to heal, but it's also irritated. It can become dry and sensitive and you can definitely lose a lot of water. It ends up a dermal water loss when your skin is going through this healing process. So using a humectant can really help bring back that hydration to the skin and help with the skin's repair. And glycerin has also been found to help with inflammation and redness, which comes along with acne naturally. So by helping with that, you can kind of take down the look of those big swollen pimples. And as I said, looking for a moisturizer that has glycerin in it could be really beneficial because again, it's gonna help with that hydration in the skin. And it even seems to improve moisture levels even better than hyaluronic acid, which is interesting because hyaluronic acid is a very raved about ingredient, especially in that dehydration realm as it is 
also humectant, but it seems that glycerin can do it better than both hyaluronic acid and silicone combined. And for those of us with acne, it's non-irritating, which is awesome because, you know, when you have acne, you want to make sure that ingredients aren't, you know, making it worse or can trigger relapses. So glycerin is definitely a very safe ingredient to use and one I actually recommend as it can help with that nourishing of the skin and making sure you have that hydration to help heal your acne. It's also tolerated by so many different skin types. Even if you have the most sensitive skin, glycerin is very, very tolerable. It's very, very good for sensitive skin and it does not clog the pores, which is always a good thing to know. And luckily you don't have to search too, too far to find products with glycerin in them if you are interested in this ingredient because glycerin is in so many different skincare products. Honestly, most of the skincare you are probably using has glycerin in it, so that's a plus. Now I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products from Banish that actually have glycerin in them, so you are all set. First off, the All Clear Mint Cleanser has glycerin in it, and of course this is not a leave-on product, but it can still provide some of that humectant and other benefits we talked about to the skin in your cleansing routine. And then moving right along, we have the Banish Oil, which contains glycerin as well as vitamin C and E. So lots of great ingredients in here, and this will definitely help nourish the skin, but it will also provide those antioxidant benefits. So that's another example right there in a serum. And then of course, we have it in a cream too. This is the vitamin C cream. One of my favorites. It's awesome. Love it. It has glycerin here. This is such a moisturizing and hydrating cream. Really helps my dehydrated and dry skin. So love this stuff right here and love that it has glycerin in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you were kind of looking into glycerin and what it's all about, definitely turn around your skincare and take a look through the ingredients list to see if you have glycerin in there. I bet you'll be surprised by how many products have this ingredient in there and it makes sense because it's so good. And if you want to see more videos related to skincare and acne, make sure to subscribe to the acne channel and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys!